Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Today I want to talk about the mirroring strategy. It's when black copies the movements of white and it can be a strong strategy if white does not know how to react. So today I'm going to show you how to avoid being in this situation where black and white have a perfect mirror setup and everything that white does can be copied by black. So like I, like I showed in a previous video, uh, white will end up losing the game because white will be the first to run out of walls and black can jump over white. So you have to understand that everything happens at this point in time. It's a critical point for white because white should not place a wall here, but instead a vertical wall here. So that if black copies, then white can place a wall like this. And if black continues to copy, white should close the bottom side. It's then impossible for black to close this side, obviously. And on top of this, look at the threat that white can have with this wall right here. Black would need to do a big turnaround the map to win. So it's a very critical point because in this situation, black is forced to close here. And look at what happens. Black closes here, white does this, black has to defend, and white can secure this part here where it's impossible for black to do anything. So now let's, let's explore some alternatives. If white does this and black tries to close the left hand side, white may do this and then black has to close here. Then white can go for this, black would do this, and then if black does not react and place a wall here, white can do so, well, place a wall like this in the next move. So what black has to do a response like this, white can force black to go down, and then black may want to secure white may secure as well, black moves forward, and from this point, um, white wins the game. So it's not a strategy that is very good for um, for black. I'm going to just finish the game so that you can see. It does not work very well. What other options may black have? Black may do this, but look at this movement from white. Then black can place a wall here to try and close this side in the next move. So white has to react and close here. Then black can play like this and white can respond with this move. And here again it's in white's favor because look at the strength of this wall. Whereas the path of white is more straightforward and it's four walls to four so here uh, white wins the game automatically. Now let's consider another scenario. What if black decides to close here? Now white is under pressure because in one turn black can close here. So white has to react and close this side. Now it's five walls to six, and the path of black is rather straightforward. So I'm not going to give you the solution of this puzzle because I want you to think about it, practice. So I invite you to go to Freeboard and try to find a solution to this puzzle. You can send it in the, in the comments and I will help you and guide you through the, the correct solution.